DaVinci Resolve 18 has not, wait. DaVinci Resolve 18.5, take two. DaVinci Resolve 18.5, just wait a second, take, take three. I'm going somewhere with this, I promise, you'll see. You'll see. DaVinci Resolve 18.5, well, depends on when you're looking at this because it's gonna be 18.5 and up. Let's do take four, this is the final take. Again, you'll see. 18.5 Beta 1 in DaVinci Resolve and later has come out with a new feature that I could not be more excited about and if you're a content creator, you should be excited about it too. Let's get back to the studio, we'll talk about it, and then you'll see why I left all these takes in. So us content creators, YouTubers, typically we have jump cuts in our video. There'll be a silent moment where we have to either think about what we want to say, or we have some ums and uhs, or whatever it may be that we have to cut out some background noise, or we have to take a look at our notes and go on to the next subject, and we don't want to leave you guys sitting there with all these blank spaces, so we do jump cuts. We just slice it where the audio ends and pick it right back up where it begins again. And some of you guys may or may not be familiar with a program called Descript and what DaVinci Resolve is doing here is very similar to Descript only now you could do it all right inside DaVinci and it works really fast too. I think faster than Descript does. Transcripting audio and being able to edit your video using words and it's great. It's so much faster to be able to read the first line of each paragraph, especially when it says the same thing over and over, if you have to do multiple takes on something and then just choose the last one because the last one is probably gonna be the best one. You highlight it, you click add to timeline, it drops it in perfectly and you have your perfectly cut clip. So let's go over it right now. All right, so right here we have the clip that you guys saw in the intro and what I'm doing is right clicking, going all the way down to where it says transcribe audio, Clicking on that, and this is in real time how fast it analyzes this clip. Analyst speed was 22 times the regular speed of the video. And just like that, everything is transcripted right here on the screen. And what you could do is read over everything really quick, highlight what you want to use, and then come down to this little button on the right hand side and add to your timeline. And boom, the clip is there and it's perfectly cut at the beginning of your sentence and the end of your sentence. So now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to edit completely using the transcript feature in this. And I'm going to come back and I'm just going to kind of keep track of time. So, this did save me some time. Editing video has become extremely easy using this transcript feature, and we're gonna talk about it in a second, but speaking of editing video, let's talk about today's sponsor, Motion Array, because if you edit video or a content creator of any type, Motion Array is the platform for you. Trust me on this one. DaVinci Resolve, Final Cut Pro, Adobe Premiere, Adobe After Effects. We're talking about templates, presets, motion graphics, royalty-free music, stock footage, transitions. I'm running out of fingers here. They have so much stuff. Titles, tons of different titles, tons of different effects. Literally everything you need. Even LUTs, stuff for vertical video. Motion Array has everything you could possibly ask for. I need some royalty-free music for a project. Go on Motion Array download it plug it in good to go and when we're talking about speeding up our workflow like we are today motion array does nothing but contribute to that everything you need is all in one place and everything is super customizable i'm spoiled i'm a spoiled brat thanks to motion array head on over to motion array start your free trial get it going and you tell me if i'm lying you see how great they are thank you motion array for sponsoring this video now let's get back to this transcription let's let's talk about how quick and easy this was and how much time it actually saved me all right, so that whole clip of me speaking here at my desk that you guys just saw, let's see how long it was. That was a 15 minute and 40, 16 minutes. Let's call it 16 minute long clip. So that took me 20 minutes to edit that whole clip using transcripts my very first time ever using it. 
Now, I did, there are some things here that I would like to see improved. Uh, one of those things is, as you saw before, or maybe you didn't, I was wearing an external microphone and recording externally directly into the microphone. And one thing that I've never been extremely happy with is how they sync up audio. For some reason, it wasn't able to sync up the audio between my camera microphone and my wireless microphone in the media pool. So I had to drag it onto my timeline, line up the audio myself, which only took like 30 seconds to do it properly. But then the problem is, is that while the clip is on the timeline, there's no option to right click and transcript audio. You have to do it from the media pool. So then I had to come up with a workaround, which was highlight both, create a compound clip, and then make a new timeline. If, for those of you that don't know, you could have multiple timelines in one project for DaVinci Resolve. So I had to make a new timeline with that clip, which then added that compound clip back into my media pool. And then from there, I could right click on that compound clip and then transcribe the audio and then everything worked out perfectly. So realistically, I probably did it in like real time because if I didn't have to go through all those extra steps of syncing up the audio and then making the compound clip and new timeline and then going over that probably took at least like five to like eight minutes to do all that maybe even 10. so immediately i see significant time differences in just going through old school style and watching the clip and then making my cuts and making decisions from there as opposed to reading the transcript now definitely we definitely need some improvements on this transcription when Da Vinci kind of notices some blank spots in between. I, I would like them to identify that and maybe even space it out in the transcription a little bit better. I'm hoping that that Black Magic is kind of on top of this right now and making this like a main priority because this is an amazing feature. And Black Magic, if you guys are watching, I know you guys cater a lot to professional filmmakers and professional movies, but there are way more content creators and YouTubers out there right now than there are people actually putting out high quality Netflix movie theater style movies. And I think you guys should continue to cater to the content creator side of things a little bit more, which I'm hoping you guys are, and make this transcript feature something to where we can actually use this in an even more convenient way to the way I just used it. Is it perfect? No. Is it an immediate upgrade? Yes, it's an immediate upgrade and I'm extremely happy with it. Man, I hope we get to the day where we can just kind of get like an auto cut feature, kind of like scene detection does in DaVinci Resolve to where it can just go through your clip, automatically make the cuts, and then when you click on it, the transcription for that cut comes up and it can detect repeat takes and blank spots and, you know, ums and uhs and all that stuff. So we're almost there. Please, Blackmagic, if you guys are watching, don't keep going with this because this is a special feature. And I promise you, if you nail this and make it perfect and make it super convenient, everybody's going to switch to DaVinci Resolve. They're not going to have a choice unless all the other editors copy what you guys are doing right now. I'll leave the download link for 18.5 in the description below. If you guys want to check it out, if you're new here, throw me a sub, click that bell, thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about this new transcription feature. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Salute!